I know it's not a sycamore, this is an oak, but I can't find any sycamores. There's a scene in As You Like It, which is set in the forest of Arden, in which our hero, Orlando, pins awful sonnets to trees so that his beloved can find them. And this, this is actually part, it's a fragment of the ancient forest of Arden. One of the ways you can shape slow poems from the natural world is to take the natural shapes of things, like the natural numbers, the Fibonacci numbers, and make poems in those shapes. It's an old idea, actually. It goes back to Persia in the 13th century, and also to Guillaume Apollinaire, the French writer, who created these things called calligrams, poems that were in the shape of horses about horses, poems that reigned across the page, called Il Pleu. Now, these natural shapes here are wonderful for writing. Look at those. Look at that. You can shape a poem about an oak leaf in that space alone, using that as a formal restriction. Now I've done this in this poem, Sycamore. I actually wrote a poem about a sycamore, and I wrote it in a strict form called a sonnet form. And I wrote it with perfect rhymes too, but then, in the last draft, I reshaped it entirely to take the shape of a sycamore itself. And I'll read you the poem to give you an idea of how that might work. Sycamore. Alpine, spire-like, in her timber scaffolds, she has been climbing the firm rungs of summer, prying for untried holds in that chimney of air, pushing aside old leaves as if they were bad luck. It should have been a good season. All the equipment, new and shining, green guarantees of dawns and rapid nights. With each move, she claims some slight expanse. Upturned to a false horizon, she can pause, gaze on a falling distance, find rooting, rigging. The rigging of a sycamore is capsized into winter. Her limbs stiffen, then her used dressings fall where they will, handheld, palm up, skeletal. Hearing, hearing the red avalanche without climbing this far, those splashed scarlet leaves, she standing clear.